what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video we're going to be talking about some things that happened yesterday over social media over at the stabmovies.com uh facebook page now if you're not familiar with that stab movies is basically what it is it's stab movies <laughs> it's the in in reality fan fan film collection of the in screen movies that are based on the events in Scream. I know that whole type of message I just went through was miscombobulated and might sound confusing, but if you are familiar with these projects, you know what I'm talking about. The stab films in our reality are fan films in the Scream in the Scream universe. They're actual Hollywood production films uh, based on the events that we are occur in our our movies, the Scream movies. <laughs> So the stab fan films, they have been told to stop using the Ghostface mask. They've been told to stop using it in their upcoming production of this stab fan film reboot they had going on. Now, of course, um, I believe a lot of us are aware of this. Fun World holds the holds the rights to this mask, the Ghostface mask, and I believe the reason they have done this is because spyglass media has gotten involved with them there's they're doing some contracts with spyglass media in preparations for screen five and perhaps in these contracts in this new contract they have up with this new studio which i'm assuming is spyglass media uh spyglass media does not want the screen mask or the likeness of the ghostface character to be used in any type of parody films possibly won't even be used in any upcoming revivals if mtv decided they want to come out with a season four or a season five of that decent show that they had going on for them uh season three of that scream tv series is absolutely abysmal but I'm glad they brought back the original costume and Roger L. Jackson got to utilize his uh, vocal cords again in the role of Ghostface. That was pretty much the only redeeming qualities about Scream Season 3. But I'll go over what essentially is essentially what the StabMovies.com Facebook page had to say about this. Uh, but basically, they said in heartbreaking news, Fun World has shut down production on the Stab reboot. They messaged us today saying... Uh, in quotations much has changed over the past few years contractually we cannot authorize the use of the mask in this new film there is much legally involved with a new studio please stop your plans for the new film uh, sorry for this news but much is happening so based off of that i'm assuming fun world told the stab films the stab fan films to stop being to stop using the likeness of this ghost face and stop using this mask stop using this this mask altogether is because of the fact that spyglass media is gearing up to have we know screen five come out and perhaps this new contract the fun world has with spyglass media because as i just mentioned they mentioned something about a new studio being in the works and that's there's much legally involved with the new studio so they asked them to please stop their plans for this new film to continue using this mask spyglass media might have contractual uh, might have some contractual details they have with with this fun world company where the ghost face character and ghost face mask should not just let's just say it's the mask i'll just go with the mask the mask itself cannot be used in any type of non-official production so fan films are out anything that's not directly tied to the screen property that is dealing with spyglass while they have this deal with fun world i don't think it's going to be allowed for that mask to be used so again mtv is not going to be making any screen tv series with this mask being used they're going to have to revert back to that brandon james mask <laughs> uh, and unfortunately fans of these fans of these stab fan films if you if you guys are fans of these of these fan films i'm definitely sorry to bring this heartbreaking news to you but that's essentially the only thing i could come up with as to why they are no longer being allowed to use this mask and when fun world is talking about a new studio is in the is in the is involved pretty much pretty confident it has to do with screen five and spyglass media being that studio that they have not specifically named they just said a new studio is involved so speaking to a new studio the last studio that we know was responsible for the scream series was dimension films um but i believe the only reason that spyglass not spyglass but the only reason the vh1's third season of scream got to use that mask because i believe at the time dimension films was no longer a thing 
and of course the rights to the screen property were up in the air and perhaps some type of deal got worked out with fun world and that little one season they had with v season they did on vh1 something possibly of course got worked out for them to be able to use that mask because they, they couldn't use it during scream season one and two uh for contractual obligation reasons and legal reasons i believe since dimension films dimension films was kind of still a thing at the time but now spyglass media with scream 5 coming out they're not going to be able to use this mask anymore so i don't know what that's going to do to these fan films i don't know how that's going to really affect it but what that also tells me is that we can look forward to ghostface keeping the same appearance that we all have come to know uh, and, and just be familiar with when it comes to the Ghostface character. He's going to have this same mask. He's going to have the same black doc, black coat, uh, looking like the Grim Reaper, essentially, and minus the scythe. <laughs> uh, and we're going to have the same, the same Ghostface that we all know and love. Now, what I will also say is that I'd like them to tweak this a bit. I know they're going to be using the, it's pretty much all but confirmed by this, by this because again i'm just assuming that this new studio that they're referring to it has to be spyglass media and it has to be the fact that the these fan films got shut down and told not to use this mask it has to be because of the upcoming scream 5 is about to start shooting this fall in north carolina what i'd like to see done with this mask is i know when scream 4 around the time scream 4 was coming out there were rumors and rumblings that they were going to use some type of weathered mask where it was like a decrepit mask almost to the style of let's say how in rob zombies halloween michael myers when he goes back home he di he digs up in the floorboards and he pulls out this old dirty mask from when he was a kid and that's of course the michael myers mask but it's just old and dirty and worn out because it's been underneath the floorboards for 15 plus years um i don't necessarily think they have to make it that that weathered but show some type of a, 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 a ghost face mask where there's some type of scarring on it I think that would be badass. I think that would be pretty cool to see something different, something fresh. I believe back when Screen 4 was coming out, there was actually talks and just pictures going around of Ghostface appearing as a scarecrow. I don't know if you guys remember that, but back when Screen 4 was coming out, there was like a plethora of different things getting tossed around about the costume, about the new appearance that could possibly possibly be done. But then, of course, we know we got the same old Ghostface that we all are very familiar with. So I'm hoping we get we get the same thing. But add some few tweaks to the mask make it a little bit more scarier a little bit more menacing just make it dirty a little bit dirty <laughs> um but yes i'm really looking forward to seeing and i'm glad that spyglass is basically going to be using the same ghost face costume the same mask only thing we need now is to, of course to know if we're going to have our leading lady nev campbell back at sydney prescott we do need to also know if courtney cox will be back as gail weathers we need to know what the story is going to be still do not know whether or not this is going to be a sequel or whether or not it's going to follow a new set of new set of characters being a soft reboot of course telling a different story in a different town maybe it's the same town of woodsboro it's just that sydney is no longer the focus of the story she's just going to return to town because she feels that she could be of use to help solve what's going on even though it has nothing to do with her anymore uh, but that's that's something that of course we'll all find out over the course of these upcoming weeks during the summer perhaps find out if hayden pantier will be back find out if cold sprouts lily reinhardt selena gomez everybody that we've talked about on this channel and people have just been making rumblings on twitter about all this stuff they did actually follow roger l jackson on twitter uh they the directors matt Bellinelli and tyler tyler gillett they did follow roger l jackson on twitter so perhaps that's a sign that some type of negotiations are going on everybody's really honing in on the fact that that might be a key that they're negotiating with certain people because of the fact that we now know at least that with david arquette that ended up being true because now we know he's going to be in the film so we just have to wait and see if that was the case with selena gomez with cole sprouse with lily reinhardt but the fact that the stat fan films won't be able to use this mask i know that's going to be a setback for them so hopefully they can overcome this but again the good news here is that this tells me spyglass plans on using the same mask the same costume the same costume ghost face will not be appearing in some new type of I don't even at that point it wouldn't even be ghost face just it's just glad to know we're going to have a screen film where the killer is going to be the same thing that we're very familiar with it's not going to be a brandon james scenario it's not going to be 
something where it's Scream 5, but Ghostface is no longer a factor. We have somebody walking around in just a black hoodie and just some black sweatpants or something. Looking like A from Pretty Little Liars. <laughs> but let me know what you all think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.